Okay, in this example, uh, we're shown a function called f, uh, represented by a graph, and we want to use the graph to discover uh, and write down uh, where the function is increasing and uh, also where the function is decreasing. And we want to write our answers uh, using interval notation. Now, when we ask where a function is increasing or where a function is decreasing, what we mean is uh, where the outputs uh, from the function are increasing. Uh, and where the outputs uh, from the function are decreasing as the inputs uh, increase. So you need to keep in mind that um, uh, uh, when we say that f is increasing or when we are asked where f is increasing or when we ask where f is decreasing, we're referring to uh, where are the outputs uh, from the function f increasing or where are the outputs from the function f uh, decreasing as uh, the inputs um, increase. All right, so um, uh, in general, uh, determining where a function is increasing or decreasing uh, can be difficult, um, especially if the formula, if the function is represented by a formula. Uh, but it's much easier um, at least to estimate where a function is increasing or decreasing uh, if a function is represented by a graph, uh, as is the case here. Um, so uh, here's how we're going to um, uh, discover this, okay? So again, remember we're asking where the outputs are increasing or where the outputs are decreasing as the inputs uh, increase. Uh, so um, as we move from left to right along the x-axis, in other words, as the inputs are increasing, uh, what we'll be looking for is uh, where the graph is rising because, uh, uh, or where the graph is falling, uh, because that's going to uh, correspond uh, to the outputs increasing or uh, decreasing. Um, so let's start here by uh, first trying to determine where the function f is um, increasing. So again, if we think of moving from left to right here along the x-axis, in other words, if we think of the inputs increasing, um, uh, then we can see that the outputs will begin increasing uh, uh, right around the input minus 4. Uh, because that's where the graph begins to rise. So uh, to the left of minus 4, as you move from left to right along the x-axis, notice the graph is falling, uh, meaning the outputs are decreasing. But after minus 4 on the x-axis, as you move uh, from left to right, uh, in other words, as the inputs are increasing, uh, then notice that the graph is rising, or the outputs, the y values, are getting larger and uh, larger. So um, the function f, or the outputs from the function f, begin to increase uh, here uh, right at the input minus 4. And uh, that continues, that behavior continues uh, right at, uh, about until we get to the input uh, 1. Okay. Now notice after the input 1, as the inputs increase, notice that the, uh, uh, the curve is falling. And um, so that means then uh, that the outputs are decreasing. So uh, to the right here of uh, the input 1, as the inputs increase, uh, the outputs are going to be decreasing. Um, so what we're looking for in uh, discovering where the function f is increasing is um, this portion of the graph here uh, that corresponds uh, to the inputs between minus 4 and uh, positive 1. So let me draw, uh, let me graph over that portion of the x-axis in green, okay, um, because that's where um, the outputs are going to be um, increasing. All right, um, so let's write that down. Um, and there's a variety of ways that we can indicate uh, in words um, where a function is uh, increasing. So I'm just going to say, uh, probably the easiest way to say this, is um, that f, meaning the outputs from f, f um, f is increasing, or those outputs are increasing on um, this interval of inputs that begins at minus 4 and then ends over here at um, positive 1. Now, it's very tempting uh, to say that the inputs are increasing um, uh, from minus 5 to uh, positive 2, uh, because indeed, um, that's... Uh, 
what happens to the, I'm sorry, the outputs are increasing from minus 5 to uh, positive 2 because indeed uh, over this um, interval inputs from minus uh, 4 to 1, that's indeed what happens to the outputs, right? At minus 4, uh, the matching output is minus 5. And then over here, when we get to the input positive 1, the matching output is 2. So it's very tempting to write that the uh, that the outputs are increasing from minus 5 to 2, okay? Um, uh, and that's correct, but that's not the way we describe where a function is increasing. We always describe where a function is increasing uh, in terms of the inputs or in terms of the x-axis. So it's over this portion of the x-axis from minus uh, 4 to 1, uh, that's where uh, the outputs are, are increasing, or that's where we say the function f is uh, increasing. All right, now where is the um, uh, function f decreasing? Uh, well, again, you see if we scan from left to right, as we think of the inputs of, uh, of uh, to the function as increasing, um, that's going to correspond. The outputs are going to be decreasing where the curve is falling. So um, over here on the uh, left-hand side uh, of the graph, uh, the curve is falling. And then again, over here past the input 1, uh, the curve is falling again. So if we sort of trace over that portion of the um, x-axis uh, where the curve is falling, let me change the pin color here to uh, red to distinguish that from uh, the green. So we can see that the curve is falling here along the x-axis from minus infinity. Uh, because this graph start, starts at minus fin infinity on the x-axis. And then um, uh, the curve is falling, or the outputs are decreasing here, beginning at uh, positive 1, and then continuing out to positive infinity uh, on the x-axis. So if I would just write down in words uh, where the function f is decreasing, uh, we can say that f, meaning the outputs from f, uh, or the function f is uh, decreasing on... Um, the interval of inputs um, from minus infinity, whoops, from um, minus infinity to um, negative 4. And then again, uh, starting at positive 1 and um, continuing out to uh, positive. Uh, infinity, and I'm going to combine these two intervals into one set uh, by using the union operation. So we would see uh, we would say that f is decreasing on the set of inputs from negative infinity to negative four. See along the x-axis from negative infinity to negative four, that's where the curve is falling. So that's where the y values or the output values are decreasing. And then again, uh, the function f uh, is decreasing, or in other words, the outputs from the function f are decreasing starting here at the input 1 and then continuing on uh, for the rest of the uh, uh, for the rest of the graph which extends to positive infinity um, along the x axis so here's where we would uh, uh, describe where f is increasing uh, here's where we'd say, we would say uh, f is uh, the function f is decreasing